Uh, please introduce yourself. Okay, I'm uh, Roberto Sereno, the Vice Chancellor for Community Affairs of UP Hospitals. I am uh, in charge of so many programs here in the campus, and that includes traffic management and the transport systems management. Second is uh, the triggering factor that, that we call it the Green Mobility Initiative. Under the Green Mobility Initiative, we realize that it's time for us to respond to the global climate change. And we have to you know, improve our transport system within, within the campus. That's why when we prepare our campus transport system and traffic management plan, we thought of evolving from the current, you know, dilapidated public utility jeepneys into an electric vehicle system. So luckily, we were really lucky because uh, we, we found API. And uh, we are actually so grateful that API is helping us. Also, we are lucky, we can say that we are fortunate that we have the small law with the transport cooperative that uh, that uh, operate that operates this uh, system. So we are so thankful to API for helping the small law and for helping us realize our dream of making our transport system zero emission, zero carbon no noise that produces pollution inside the university and that's our dream that's why uh, we said with the uh, api's um, light buses the smart buses we are realizing our dream first question uh, what was the background of deciding factor for implementing our sp okay. yeah of course um, we are uh, in the process of transforming our you know, system of transportation. And uh, it's the call of the snow law, the transport cooperative. And for so many years, you know, the campus is being run by, by uh, so many drivers, so many operators, until the government said that it's time to modernize the way we transport our people. And under our program called the Green Mobility Initiative, we thought of um, converting our transportation system into the zero trans trans transportation, zero emission, you know, electrified transportation. That's why um, good that uh, one day I was surprised to see your group no? uh, who came to this office and uh, offering the smart buses to uh, the transport cooperative, to the small law. And then I'm helping in, in uh, you know, in uh, the process of uh, the small law and your group, uh, Temple Point Philippines, to, uh, to make such point of uh, partnership. That's why under the Green Mobility Initiative, we have that LP electric life bus for the economy and environment partnership so it's a form of partnership first is the university talking to ltfrb the land transportation franchising regulatory group to officially recognize the upl route because there's none in the past there is no official transportation route uh, and the ltfrb granted us the authority to have that kind of uh, transport route. The next step is for the LTFRB to call for bidding and not look qualified. And then said, okay, yeah, hey, so they, uh, the route was granted to the snow load. So we went through the process of finding a partner and uh, you know, Assemble Point became our partner. And uh, we are so glad for that. And we are forever grateful. And we have we found you. And you know, you have this kind of campus. You have a partnership with the university. So we are lucky. Thank you very much.
Next question. Uh, what changes or results have you seen after implementing the SP? You know, it created so so much possible positive. You know, but it created so much positive changes. First, our dream of the green mobility industry, because now our campus is so congested. It's traffic. There's so many cars. Under the green mobility industry, we wanted that our faculty, our employees, our students, you leave your cars. Take the commute. Okay? And now, because of the transportation, uh, gridlock, because of the congestion, no parking spaces in the university, now they are realizing that it's better to take the smart bus than to drive your own. Because you know, it's common, you know, we are now becoming a highly organized university campus. So, one car, one passenger, one driver. So it created the, the uh, you know, the congestion. With the smart buses, you know, running around the campus, when they started, I received so many um, words, good words from our faculty members. Now we leave our car, we take the smart buses and it reduces congestion. So that's the positive one in the implementation. Second is we are are, are moving forward with a time-based loading. Mm. Before there's none. Now the snow load is implementing the time base. So 620, 640, 7, 7 o'clock. It's like Japan. Yes. And you have to be there exactly or be 10 minutes before the time. And that kind of discipline. So we are receiving positive uh, results out of that. So what we want is our, our people here know how to take the ride according to the schedule. So that's, that's one, you know, psychological, behavioral. It's a positive move. So they, uh, they are now commuting. So maybe lesser, lesser congestion, no issues in the parking, and everyone moving according to our uh, green mobility system. It's time Although it's a bit small, but um, it is quiet and no smoke. Um, and especially from where I work, uh, it's uh, it is difficult to get um, transportation. I have to uh, go far, travel far. So without this, I have to travel far just to get to UP. So it's it's uh, very efficient, very comfortable. Of course, that is the university side. On the context of uh, climate action, okay, that's our promise. The university is committed to implement our climate action. And when, when everyone is using electric transportation, that will res result to lesser carbon, lesser noise, lesser pollution, and better health. There's lower, lower uh, emission, lower um, pollution. So expect better health for us. So that's, that's uh, a long-term objective that we are uh, uh, aiming for. And people are healthy. They're walk. They're walking, biking, riding the the smart buses, and no problem with congestion, no problem with pollution. That's it. So health, health issue. Okay. Again, it's a health issue. How do you perceive our strengths and unique points compared to uh, Japan and Russia? Yeah, yeah. Of course, um, the smart buses are much, much better. Because as I said, no emission, no noise, no pollution, you know? And the way we are operating it now through the snow globe, everyone is now conscious of time. Okay, because there's time. You have to meet this uh, this schedule. 
So it's much, much better. And because of the public uh, uh, utility vehicle system that the government is implementing, the jeepney drivers are assured, the snowball drivers are, are assured of their income. Because before, you know, the old system, you pay the driver, pay for the boundaries, and there's, there's no system. Now they are under one cooperative. And under the PUB modernization law, they have to have health insurance. They have to have an SSS security system. And they have a salary. Okay? Unlike before, they don't have salary. Uh, they have no, no fixed salary per day. So with this, uh, there's an improvement in terms of economy. That's why I call it LP, electric light bus for the economy and the environment partnership. It's not just for the environment, it's also for the society, improvement of the society. Because when when the members of the cooperative, they can have a good take home, the money, they earn good, then you expect they will be buying goods and services. So you know, the economy will be better. The Philippine economy will be better. Because of the money, they can be able to send their uh, children to school. They can afford to have their houses. So that, that's good. That's progress. So that's economic progress that we are aiming for, 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 uh, for the Philippines. We want to be rich also, like Japan. So it's also a dream of our country. And good, good thing, here in UPLB, we have so many faculty members, you know, teachers, our researchers, our employees, who studied in Japan. They are alumni, you know, Japanese universities. Our chancellor himself, alumni of Kyoto University. Okay. So, and so much, so many of us. We now have, uh, I think, more than 16 or 20 partner universities in, in Japan. And from, from Kyoto, Nagoya, Tokyo University, Ihime University, so many Italian universities uh, involved with universities in, in the Philippines. So, that's, that's good, you know. So we are not new. We are not new to the Japanese society system. At least here we are continuing that kind of in-country, country-to-country friendship. And of course, um, Japan is uh, so helpful in, in training our faculty members. Not just for formal degrees, the masters and the doctorate degrees, also the training program. I myself, I received a training program from JICA. That's why I, I'm, I'm very uh, grateful because JICA provided me one month of uh, travel uh, to experience the uh, tourism of Japan, green tourism. That's why I'm very grateful for such kind of learning and that learning we are applying here. That's why it's called green tourism in, in Japan. So we are implementing. Thank you. Next question. Yeah. Uh, what kind of growth and evolution do you expect from our uh, company in the future? My, uh, you know, my best wishes for your company to prosper, so that you can produce more vehicles, you can answer the requirement. Because as of now, I think only one or three companies producing electric uh, buses, electric uh, light buses in the Philippines. So uh, if, if you can produce more, more cooperatives can access, uh, can buy from you. So we have more uh, passenger utility uh, vehicles from you. Then uh, maybe the costs of uh, maintain, maintaining the after sales service of your light buses, smart buses will be lower because you know there are so many, so many new. So um, your company progressing will be a, will be to our advantage. That's why we also wish that the Assemble Point Philippines will produce more, so that all other cooperatives will acquire their jeepneys, their vehicles from you. Because I believe in the technology that you introduce. It's, it's light, you know, it's light maintain, maintenance. 
and it's, it's affordable to the uh, to the cooperative. So I have a much uh, trust uh, in, 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 in this program that we are in, and uh, I believe in, in the technology. My best wishes for the Assemble Point Philippines to to stay and to do more good for the company, good for the Philippine <laughs> economy, good for the uh, the cooperatives. Thank you, Shabbat. Yes. Last question. Uh, if could share a message.